Hey there guys, so this is part 3 of my Q&A. It seems like there's going to be a lot of these Q&A videos just for that one Q&A, like, asking for questions thing that I did. Because I can't seem to get through these questions, like, really quickly. It takes me a really long time. I don't know how the people do it really quickly. But yeah, I really want to answer your questions, though, as best as I can, with, like, as much detail as I can. So I'm going to keep on going at this kind of slow pace. I hope you're okay with that. It's, gonna, it's what's going to happen, so, you know. Um, so yes, I have my laptop as, use, as per usual sitting on my lap, so that's why I'm looking down all the time, and let's begin. The first um, question is from Carolina Hagman, and she, uh, or she says, Happy anniversary, thank you. What book are you looking forward to most this year? It was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, but I have that now. I have it. So now I'm looking forward to The Last Aboriginal Book, which I still don't know the title of, um, by Veronica Roth. Yeah, really excited to see how that story ends. I'm so excited for that book. I love that series so much, you guys. Can't wait for it. The next person is Checked Out Show, and she says, What is your favorite classic book? Happy book to birthday. Thank you. My favorite classic book is, um, oh, forgot it there. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. That's my favorite book ever as well. Um, so, and I feel like I've been saying that book a lot in these Q&A videos, so I'm going to say another one. Another classic book that I really like is The Odyssey by Homer. Really like that. Lots of adventure, action, Greek mythology. I love Greek mythology. I'm studying it at university, so I definitely love it a lot. And yeah, just, it's, it's an awesome book. It's like the beginning of literature itself. Not really the beginning, but one of the original books. Yeah. Um, the next person is Carrie for Life, who says, If you could live any in, anywhere in the world, where would it be? I think... Oh, this is really hard. I think I would want to live... I mean... I don't know. There's lots of places I want to live. Right now, though, I want to live in London. Or... Not London, but like a, like a city or town outside of London. But yeah, I really want to be somewhere where it's snowing right now. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's snowing anymore in London, but it was. Somewhere where it's snowing. I want snow because it's been really hot here and it's annoying me. I'm just tired of the heat. It's been like hot all the time and it's spring and spring in Australia isn't really spring. It's just summer. So there. Um, the next person is Elise and her books and she says, happy one year anniversary. Thank you. Love your videos. Looking forward to many more videos from you. Thank you. Um, if you could take any character and put them in another, in another world, example, Harry Potter and Hungry Games, which combination would you choose? This is hard. Okay. I'm going to take the world across the universe because it's in a spaceship in space. So cool. So, so cool. And... I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Odysseus in there, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Odysseus in there because he's. I, I don't I don't know what he would do in space, but it would be interesting, and I don't know, it would it would be very 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 interesting very interesting. Um, the next person is a Mose or Mosey. And you say, congrats, thank you, it's my birthday too, happy birthday to you. Um, do you like series or standalone books? What is your favorite book of all time? I like series and standalone books, obviously for, for different reasons. Um, you know, standalone books, they're good by themselves. They're, you know, standalone. And series are good because you get, like, a lot of people don't like to wait for books for the next book in a series. Um, but I really like it. I like that expectation and that waiting and that excitement and that build up. It's really fun and you get to talk to other people about a book that's coming out, so that's fun for me. I will say that I like standalone books for... Mm, I will say that I like standalone books more just because, I don't know, I feel like a standalone book is just a work of, it's a story by itself that has been crafted and put together and ended, whereas a series, I think, is a story that I feel like in some cases, not all, but authors have just started writing a story or have an idea and write that story, but they can't end it, and so they just don't and they just start writing more books and they continue to do that and I feel like sometimes they don't know what's going to happen next and I don't know, I don't, I don't, I feel like that's too little effort. I feel like you, like an author should know exactly what's going to happen in all of the books in the series um, and not just have a vague idea, like have a really, really good idea about what's going to happen, I don't know. And I feel like some authors do that or it feels like they do it. So I like standing on books better. What is your favorite book of all time? It is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I should really have that down already because I've said it a lot. Um, Frenchie D asks happy or says happy first book to your birthday. Thank you. What is your least favorite book in the Harry Potter series? I have not read the Harry po Harry Potter series. Speak, Dylan. Um, 
so I have no idea. I am going to be reading it this year, hopefully, because it's one of my resolution things for this year, so hopefully I'll be reading that series. Bird Whisper says, congrats, what's your favorite series? Um, I think my favorite series is either The Lunar Chronicles, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, oh, and The Lunar Chronicles is, the, is by Marissa Meyer, and Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan or Riordan. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the Luna Chronicles because I read it this year and it was a lot of fun. Um, Benjamin of Tomes says, um, if you could be a witch without any powers or a vampire without any fangs. So you mean, uh, do you mean like, like choose one of them? I mean, I think it would be the vampire because a witch without any powers is like, not a witch, right? Is it? I don't know. Um, yeah, and if I was a vampire, I would still have immortality, right? I think I would. So, I just wouldn't be able to kill people, I think, right? I don't know. It depends what kind of vampire you are talking about, because there are a lot of different kind of vampires. Um, the next question is by KWell778. You say, if you could jump into a fictional world and live there for a year, where would you go? And which character would become your closest friend? Congrats on your book two birthday. Thank you! Um, I'm gonna say Across the Universe by Beth Rivers because I re re because I recently read it and I really really enjoyed it and I really really like the world. It's in space you guys and also you know I would want to leave after a year so that's good that it's only for a year. Um, I don't really like the characters in that story that much so I don't know. I think maybe the Doctor would be my best friend other than him. I don't really like the other characters I don't think. So yes but I really really like the world. That's good enough for me. Cassandra Berkeley says, congrats on being here for a year. Thank you. What is one of your favorite books that isn't YA? Um, Jane, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, come on, Dylan. Think of other books. Atonement by Ian McEwan. Um, Audrey Niffing, Audrey Niffenegger's, um, Time Traveler's Wife and Symmetry. Her Perfect Symmetry. Their Perfect Symmetry. Something of Symmetry. Um, the Odyssey, uh, I'm reading right now Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, which I really like, and The Game of A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, and I don't know, something else. Did you ask for one? Or you said favorite, what is one of your favorite books? I should have just said one. I'm gonna go with Atonement, but no. I'm gonna go with My, my Time Traveler's Wife, or The Time Traveler's Wife. Uh, what's your name later, because I really like that one. Um, Teresa Kaka, I hope I'm saying that right, um, says, you look like Aladdin with his little red cap. Um, I think it's because in my last video I was standing by my door and the, the orange thing that's called Tiger, I don't know if they know what it is, was behind me, so it makes it look like I have a cap on. I don't really know if I look like Aladdin though, but thank you, I would really, that would be cool to be Aladdin. He has a carpet and it's magic. And a genie. That that's even better than the carpet. Um Renessa Renessa twenty eight says, Congratulations, I can't wait for more of your videos. Thank you. My question is, can you do an English accent? Um I I c I wait until the end of the video and you will find out if I can. I can't I can't do accents like like you know, when someone tells me to do an accent I can't do it, but sometimes when I'm not doing it on purpose I can. It's just one of those things. Um, Rogan Romy says, Is there a book from your childhood you feel more toward than the rest? The Twits by Roald Dahl, just because it's one of the only ones I can remember reading. Um, I'll Fly Away One Day says, Who's your favorite male slash female protagonist? My favorite female protagonist is Cinder by, um, from Cinder by Marissa Meyer. My favorite male protagonist is probably Percy from Percy Jackson um, and The Lightning Thief by Rick Reardon. Um, All About Me 445 asks or says, what is the longest book you've ever read? Probably um, the second book of a uh, Song of Ice and Fire series, which is A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Um, Trevor Venis says, or Vanez says, what is your most hated antagonist ever? I don't really know. I don't really hate antagonists that much. I'm gonna go with Queen Levana from Cinder. 
there's definitely some books that are being mentioned a lot in this video. Um, congratulate. oh, Coney Andrea says, or Connie Andrea says, congratulations, thank you, what is your most anticipated book of 2013? I think I've answered this already. It is The Last Divergent Book by Franco Ra. Can you do an English accent? Um, so I'm gonna try and do an English accent now, but I'm gonna fail probably. Can, can you speak in a British <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast this morning, I had toast and jam. For breakfast this morning, I had toast and jam. <laughs> well, at least that, that was, was better. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Jamaican. Okay, so because my accent in Eng or my English accent is so bad, I'm gonna ask the internet how to speak in an English accent. Okay. There's here we go. Nine steps. The first one is start with R. Pronounce you in stupid and in duty with an U sound. Do you do you, <laughs> how do you stu stupid stupid stupid? Oh my gosh, that sounded kind of duty. <laughs> Step three is enunciate on heavy consonant words. Pronounce the T in duty as T, not as the American D, as in duty. 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 <laughs> Drop the T's. With some accents, T's aren't pronounced at all, especially in words with two T's grouped together. Okay. Battle. <laughs> Battle? That's, that's all that there is. Okay. Step number five is observe that H is always pronounced. The H is pronounced in the word her herb. Uh, well, I already do that. Okay, say bean and not bin. What? The last one is say road, but put an H in it. So road, road. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs>